Thank you for joining. I am literally going to start at 10.02. Since this is not a live stream that I announced earlier today, I just wanted to come on and talk. Hi. And make it quick and stick to my Monday live streams. How was your day? I'll give it just a few more seconds. Hello, thank you for joining. Okay, I had a long day. Today's my son's birthday. He turned 13 and I've been out and about all day. So I usually do my mask off Mondays at 7 a.m. And I woke up like, I don't want to do it, but I wanted to stick to what I plan. So I'm doing it at this time. Thank you guys for joining. I'm going to jump right on in. I won't even be starting with, thank you. I usually start my live streams with deep breathing and meditation i will probably end it with deep breathing and meditation since it's almost time for people to go to bed so that would be a great time thank you i'll let them know that'll be a great time for us to i mean a great way for us to end our live stream before we go to sleep but welcome 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 my name is donata joseph and i am the ceo of donata skin food where I talk about all things mind, body, and skin. And I also am the founder of a nonprofit organization called Adding Doses of Hope Daily. So tonight, I have not gotten a chance to really get off topic when it comes to skin and just kind of chit chat and talk. So this is what I'm doing tonight. And what came to mind is, oh, nice, thank you. You're gonna love it. And so will your skin. Cool. Thank you so much. So I am, I just really want to talk to you guys and just encourage you guys that to, to start working on our mindset, we all have a gift deep inside that we know that we have, but we have so much that blocks us. So much insecurities, so many doubts, so many fears. And I just really, the whole day today, when I kept th thinking about what I wanted to talk about, it was really just to encourage you guys, whatever that gift is that you have inside of you, don't let, don't let your self-doubt, your fear, your self-esteem, how you look, how you feel, what your size is, what your income is, don't let that block you. Because I realized that the biggest gift that we have is right behind our fear. So for example, I was really, really, really shy, very timid. I actually was in an abusive relationship for seven years. So that abusive relationship really killed my self-esteem. I really didn't have any to begin with. Let's put it that way. And then I ended up in an abusive relationship which just killed my self-esteem all the way. And coming out of that relationship, I had to rebuild myself, rebuild my mind, rebuild my self-esteem, rebuild who I am. And when God placed in my heart to become a motivational speaker, I never saw myself as such. And it is so powerful what a word, a seed that you could plant in somebody's life, even just a compliment you don't realize how that might take that person to the next level. And before I got comfortable with speaking, I happened to be taking a class. You know, in school, sometimes you take classes that you have to take. And I remember I had to take a speaking class and I hated speaking in front of people. I got very nervous and I had to do a presentation. So I did a presentation on finances and handling your checkbook, something very simple and easy. And my teacher said, you would be a great speaker. And I looked at my teacher like, okay, whatever. And that little compliment, that little seed he planted in my life 
when God kept nudging me to go out and speak, go out and share your story, go out and share your gift. And I kept thinking, no, I'm not a speaker. I actually even let my weight stop me from being a motivational speaker. I would think to myself, well, what are they thinking about me when I stand in front of the, in front of the wherever I was? Or how are they looking at me? Or what are they thinking that I'm saying when I'm speaking? I used to let so many little things stop me. And I had to keep encouraging myself and keep reminding myself, well, if my speaking teacher said I'm a great speaker, keep that in my mind. So whatever it is that you know deep down in your heart, you know you're supposed to be doing, it doesn't matter what it is. But every time you think about it, you think about it, it's one of those things that you constantly think about, but you don't want to do or you are afraid to do. That's that thing you need to step out on faith and do, whether it's doing something simple as a live stream. Live streams are the scariest thing to do. I do it, but they're the scariest thing to do because one, if there's one thing when you're standing in front of a room full of people and you can gauge their reaction, you can gauge their, if they're with you, if they're, if they're engaged with you, and then they're sitting behind a screen and wondering, okay, am I getting through, the, through to the people on the screen? So that's a scary situation to be in, but you have to get past it. You have to do it because what you're holding on to, what you're afraid to go out and do, someone on the other side is waiting for your gift. Although I may think like, oh, well, okay, you know, I have nothing to say tonight, but um, let me not do my live stream. But yet, one of you, this may be the message you need to hear tonight. As much as I wanted to say, okay, I'll, I won't do my live stream tonight, but I made a commitment to do my mask off Mondays. Okay, I didn't do it at 7 a.m. tonight. I mean, 7 a.m. I'm doing it at 7 p.m. But there's a reason why I was supposed to do that this time. So I have to push past my com being complacent and not wanting to get out here and, and do the live stream because I have a gift to share to somebody. So one of you are receiving my gift. One of the people in the, um, listening to my replay will be receiving my gift. And that's the same for you. Whatever that is that's deep inside that keep nudging for you to do, you may not know how to do it, you may not know the first step to do it, and you may be scared as shit to do it, it's that thing you need to start doing. If it's getting in front of people to speak, if it's getting in front of a live stream, if it's talking to your neighbor, if it's mentoring to a teen, never, never, let me put it this way. The thing that nudges to you, nudges at you, you may feel that you're incapable of doing. I never felt I was, what, what would you say that word is? Um, there's a word for it. Ah, there's a word for it. You never felt, okay, as a speaker, I never felt like I, oh my gosh, what is that word? There's a word I'm thinking like I'm, okay, this this may help you. You know how you see something, you, you, you see somebody and you're like, oh, they got it all together. That I don't know what the word is. I can't think straight tonight. But you look at them and you're like, they got it all together. I'm not there. The person that needs to hear your gift doesn't care if you're there. They need you right where you are. Because sometimes... Yeah, thank you. Because sometimes we may feel we need to be up here, but the people that we need to get in contact with, that we need to impact their life, may be here. So sometimes, let's let's say a millionaire. You want to be a millionaire, but you look at that millionaire, millionaire and you're like, oh, they're all the way up here. They're so far away. But yet, you may be following somebody that's making thousands and you're like, you feel more connected to them because you feel like, okay, I'm not too far behind. And that's the same with your gift. Don't look at your gift like, sorry guys, can you, can you see me? I just got a call that came in. I hope, I hope this didn't mess it up. But, oh my gosh, now I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, okay. Don't let the fact that you don't feel you have it all together. You don't feel you're packaged all together. You don't feel like, you're, you're knowledgeable enough to share the information. Nobody cares. 
get past that mindset because guess what once you perfect I'm glad you see me thank you guys once you get past that step you take that first step you do that first speaking engagement or you do that first mentoring program or you do that first live stream or you do that first cons um, consultation with your client whatever it is that you need to do you take that first little step that little step is going to encourage you to take the next step then you take the next step and as you're taking the steps as you're taking your baby steps you are learning and growing in the process you're not going to come from here to here all in one day maybe not even all in one year but you have to take your baby steps learn to grow along the way you will get here but start here so my message tonight is work on your mindset start shifting your mindset start getting out of your way this if, if there's a as one phrase to sum up what I'm trying to say get out of your way because people need to hear people need to see people need to feel people need to embrace whatever it is you have to share don't minimize your gift don't minimize your gift if it's placed in your heart to do it it keeps nudging on you to do it start writing your assignment this week is to write it down mindset is everything if you don't start working on your mindset whether it comes to losing weight working on your business going to school being a better parent better parent working on your finances even your skin here okay here's a prime example and I'm gonna end it with here with this because I said I was gonna only be on for 15 20 minutes I'm gonna give you my testimony when I got into skincare I actually started making natural products in 2013 and it's not something that I saw and I wanted to do I lost my job in 2013 I was a single mom three kids no income and every time I pray to God, because there's nothing that I do without guidance, your higher power, whatever it is that you look for that answer, mine, I pray. So every time I pray, I kept hearing, do not get a nine to five job. And as crazy as that sounds, I kept hearing, do not get a nine to five job. So of course I sat home and I sat home and I sat home. I prayed for direction. I prayed for some kind of sign, something long story short. It was placed in my heart to start making natural products didn't know what I was doing started making natural products started researching started playing around learning a year later of making natural products once that got you know rolling my sister said to me why don't you go to school to be a skincare esthetician and I said to her well I don't care to work on people's skin like that's not anything I've ever dreamed of doing or wanted to do so I'm not gonna do it and then I said, you know what? That makes sense. If I make natural products, it wouldn't hurt to learn about the skin. So here I'm in school. Mind you, I've been making natural products for a year. I'm in school as an esthetician. Now my biggest problem was my skin was jacked up. So when I'm seeing clients, when I'm selling my products, my skin was completely jacked up. And I mean blotches, um, hyperpigmentation, all up here I used to have a lot of pimples and I explained to the teacher I, I told my teacher I said Lisa I'm really my biggest fear is that I don't feel comfortable telling people I'm an esthetician because look at my skin and she said Donata take your negative and turn it into a positive you know your skin is not because you don't take care of your skin it's not because you don't do facials and it's not because you don't make natural amazing natural products it bec it's because of your internal system that is your digestive system that is messed up and it's showing on your skin and she ma it, it made me think like wow okay although I'm embarrassed and I'm ashamed of the way my skin is and that is my trade that is my career that is my business she helped me change that negative into a positive so when I used to tell back maybe a year ago when my skin was really really bad when I told people I'm an esthetician and I can see in their face and I explain to them no it's not because I don't take care of my skin it's because I'm having really bad digestive problems I have um, adrenal fatigue and that's why my skin is acting up the way it is so I had to learn to change that negative into a positive the thing with that story is I did not allow my fear 
to stop me from being an esthetician from and stop me from making uh, my skincare products. I allowed that situation, I pushed through that situation to be who I am now. Had I stopped, when I stopped, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't have clients coming back and thanking me for clearing up their skin. I wouldn't have clients thanking me for helping them embrace the skin that they're in. I had to get out of my way. It was the hardest thing to do, but I had to get out of my way. So I say all that to say to you, get out of your way. Whatever that self-esteem, that fear, that uncomfortable feeling that you feel every time you want to do what's placed in your heart to do, do it afraid. That's how I'm going to end this um, live stream tonight. Do it afraid. Whatever it is, that gift that you have inside, do it afraid. If I don't get to talk to you guys tonight, thank you for your comments. You are more than welcome anytime when it comes to skin, mind, and body. I have my link on my Instagram bio. You can find all my information. You can email me if this is a topic that you love and I can do more often, let me know. I am here to empower you, whether it's for your mind, your body, and your skin. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. You have a blessed night. Thank you. Blessings. Good night. Do it afraid. Do it afraid. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.